Good evening. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thought I would film my home tour real quick. This is the shelf above my door. Uh, the, the door of the entrance to my house, that is. And this is hanging on the back of the door. And my obsession this year has been these cute Christmassy barn prints that I have gotten um, off of Etsy. And in this corner, I have this little tree. And to spin you around without getting you dizzy. When you step in my door, this is what you see. I do have lights on this tree, but I'm using the extension cord right now for something else. And so then I'll hook it back up. But when you walk in my house, this is what you would see. Dining room straight ahead. And so this is my foyer table. Some more of those really pretty barn prints, all from Etsy. I like this one here. It's like a country house with the red truck out front. And this lantern. This lantern is here like every year, every season. That's because I like it in that place, in that spot. My cute little nativity set. That was from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago, as was this really pretty tree. And this one here. Trying to keep me out of the video because this is not my better looking day. <laughs> I got the holly and the berry vine from Amazon and wrapped it around the, the tree. Otherwise, it's just like a, a cone, um, a grapevine cone shaped tree. And these sparkling lights, twinkling lights have been on it ever since I bought it. And that's been years. This little nativity set here was our... Uh, church craft day craft that we did this year for our craft day and uh, it was they came out so cute and this is the bottom shelf down there and I think that looks really cute really very cozy and very inviting when you walk into my house. Very festive. Okay, and stepping into my living room. <clears throat> my crock. The lantern stays there all year long, and I just kind of do different ribbons and different picks um, for the seasons inside the granary there. I've had this wooden snowman, snowman for years. This topiary looks really pretty with these fairy lights on it. Then I love how this black corner shelf looks with the snowman in it and the snowy trees and the fairy lights. It just, it looks really pretty. That snowman came from Hobby Lobby last year. And that is a Christmas card that I have framed back there. The joy, we made that years ago. These, this set of snowmen here came from Family Dollar years ago. And I put some little small snowmen in cloches with some little bottle brush type trees. That little snowman came from Hobby Lobby last year. Uh, I don't remember where that little snowman figurine came from. It's been a long time ago. And at the top, I just have the same blessing jar. And I just change out the, you know, the picks that are in it. The tree there, my dad made. That snowman came from Hobby Lobby. 
So it just looks really, really pretty in this corner here. I was trying to back up smoothly there, but it didn't work out because I bumped the couch. <laughs> anyway, so that's the corner inside the living room. I didn't change any of these pictures in, in my frames here because the family photo shoot was my Christmas, a surprise Christmas present from my daughter. She arranged the whole thing and it was so sweet and I just love, love, love all the prints. So I left that one plain. Over here, my blanket ladder. This plaid is actually a tablecloth that I bought years ago. And that Mary and Bright sign there, that was, we made that last year. And here on my couch, these red checked pillows, I used those last year in my bedroom. And so I got some different ones in there and brought these out here because I use a red check ribbon on my Christmas tree and I thought that would go well in here. This here, um, the three snowman framed, that's another Christmas card framed. And these are just some rustic candy canes wrapped in either fabric or twine. Up here is another of the country home kind of barn, red barn looking prints. As is this up here. And above my fireplace, there's more of those prints. And the wreath looks pretty up there. And this barn print over here, love that. Just um, kind of, I wanted to kind of have a, like a, a country Christmas theme this year. And the things that are on my mantle are just kind of the same things every year. I haven't changed anything yet. Um, um, but I did change the greenery. This I bought at the end of season last year at Michael's. I got it really, really inexpensively. And I just added some red berry picks and this little red berry wood bead garland strand. It's like the last one that I have of it. I used to have a bunch of them, but I only have that one left in our stockings, of course. And then down here I have the lantern and the snowman on top of the picnic basket that always stays there and I just change it out for the season. And the Santa's sleigh. I got that from Target years ago and I just painted, it was a different color and I painted it with the red and the black. And there's just a little Christmas tree in there and a wooden present. And these pretty boxes were from Michael's years ago. Anyway, so, and the snowman on my chair. Now, I kept saying that I was going to do a, a little makeover on my fireplace, and what I ended up doing was I took the brass piece off the front and left it open, and I painted the brick white, and it is just, I love it. It's bright now, brightened up the room, and every, you know, the seasonal colors just really shine so pretty against the white background. So I love it. I'm glad that, glad I did that. And my little twinkling lights came from Target. And on the coffee table, I have this um, placemat that I bought. Um, I It might have been Big Lots years ago. I, I can't remember exactly. I don't know. It's been years ago. And this little red striped ball, I just bought that at home the other day. And it looks pretty and cozy with the extra lighting at nighttime, because I, I sit in here with just, a, just all the Christmas tree lights and the candles going, and it's just so cozy. Anyway, more more barn prints there on this wall, but that's the only thing that's different was those two 
barn prints. And I have this in the corner. And this table kind of stays the same. Uh, this is where this um, candle in this jar stays all the time. And I kind of change out the things that are around it. I see my pick has come out here. And my Scentsy Pot. I always have one Scentsy Pot or another there with always some smelly good stuff going on. Right now that's kind of a pine scent. So it really smells like Christmas in here too. And this tree here is one of the, is two, two of the Dollar Tree uh, trees like hooked together. And I added some extra, um, you know, greenery pieces to it and the, the berries and of course the lights and all that. And this here is um, Gracie's couch. <laughs> but because uh, this is the spot right here is where she lays mostly. She's in there on daddy's other couch in the den now. Anyway, so this is. Um, how her her couch is decorated in here and over here in this corner by my tree this sweet little snowman right there with the lights um, my cousin gave me that last year and I think she got it from QVC and those um, snowman boxes there that came from Dollar Tree years ago and this um, snowman right there He's actually kind of like a hand puppet, and I have him like over top of a jar of that's got some sugar in it, so it would be white at the bottom. But that came uh, as a gift many, many, many years ago. And here is my tree. Kind of looks the same year after year because it's the same ornaments. Um, it's a tree that I got, I think, last year or the year before last from Amazon. Kind of a slimmer tree. Um, just different snowman type ornaments and country looking ornaments and the box that it sits in my dad helped me build so it looks looks really cute all con contained in the corner over here kind of out of the way because you know my furniture takes up a lot of space and, um, you know, we have a rancher home, and, and so the living room is just a, a rectangle shape, and so you don't have a lot of space for, a lot of open floor, split, floor space, you know. I just have this wood crate here. It says let it snow, and there's a snow, snow mama and a snow baby in it, and a present. And on my shelf, I have this house. I need to put a little tea light candle in it. And um, this has a country look too. I love this barn print right here. And so I feel like everything on the shelf just looks like it's just like an extension of this print. Like, you know, it could be like the whole you know, property or something, you know, like the snowman and the tree would just be just down a bit from the, from the barn and in the yard and all that sort of stuff. Just, or maybe it's just my imagination, who knows? <laughs> but anyway, I just, I thought that turned out really, really cute, really country Christmas. And I just picked up this tree from Walmart, um, yesterday and I added these um, just red check, red check, um, fab, not fabric, one of, part of his fabric, part of his ribbon, and then, and some, and bells. So this is, I, I'll call this my little, my little jingle bell tree. And of course, my little black puppy here, little statue. He's got his little red cloth on. <laughs> but I just loved how this looks and this crock here. Um, that little tree, it's just, it looks really, really cute. And I just thought the living room just kind of turned out really pretty, really 
cozy in here. Traditional colors, loving all the barn prints, the twinkly lights everywhere. That room over there, that's kind of dark there. That is like our den slash kind of home office. My picture wall. And then this corner over here is the hutch. Okay, so now let's venture into the dining room. And then you know, if you know me, it is all about the gingerbread. Oh, I want to show you these real quick. These other prints here. They're really pretty too. Love, 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 love those. Okay. Welcome to Gingerbreadville here in my <laughs> in my kitchen. This is the my first little little skinny gingerbread tree here. Cute little rustic things on it. And on this um, little bookshelf thing that my, my dad made. This is one of those little wooden crates from the Dollar Tree that I painted and kind of sugared up and made it like a little gingerbread train, train car for these little fellows there, for the little family going on a little trip. My husband and I were pretty um, blown away when we unpacked this. And after all these years, that thing <laughs> is still working. Same batteries still. And I have a crock over here with just some greenery and red berries in it. So it looks pretty right beside it. Those are cookbooks on the bottom shelf there. you can see into the hallway, the foyer hallway. Okay, so let's come over here. Let me turn around without getting you too dizzy. On my picnic basket here in the kitchen, I have these two crocs sitting here, one just with the greenery and lots of candy picks. And here, Baking Spirits Bright, that towel is from Target, Dollar Spot. And these two little ladies here, they're ready to do some serious rolling and baking, I guess. Now here are some um, gingerbread prints in here that I also got off, off of Etsy. I'm telling you that when I learned about getting the prints off of Etsy and, and sending them to a, like a place to be printed, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> I have gone crazy with that, so love that option. This is the top of the hutch. I need to put my batteries in this one and that one so I can have so them for them to to um, glow pretty. But this is how this hutch on the inside came out. set of salt and pepper shakers back there. And my little snow globe back there in the bag. And these little peppermint plates came from the Target Dollar Spot this year. And up on this side is a little small, little uh, metal um, lunch box, kind of like how the ones used to be back in the old days. Um, anyway, so this is what it looks like again at the top. Here's another one of the prints that I had printed. So stinking cute. And down here, 
he's back in the same basket. This towel here came with the Baking Spirits Bright one at the Target Dollar Spot. And over here is my girl Candy with her little bowl of candy. And this little family here. Kind of have done all of my gingerbread people as like little families. Whether they came as a set or not, I kind of like made them a, a family or a couple. These are just a couple. But they're with their candy canes with the can peppermint candy cane sign. And up here, this is a family here. This could be like their yard and their little house there. <laughs> And here's another little family of them with their little doggy, their pet doggy, Gracie. <laughs> and up here is this happy little couple. They're just so happy with they got a house and and they're just in love and happy. And it says that plate up there says Merry Christmas. So it looks really cute. Okay, and on over here, these these items here are kind of in the same spot every year because that's just, they look good there. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? And here is my gingerbread tree. I love it. Here's the topping, just kind of like this big boof wow at the top, you know, and All of this stuff as you go down and around. I painted the little face. My mom made that. There's two of them on my trees. My mom made them both. Super simple. More faces that I painted. And I made this little sign last year, hanging on the tree. I just think they all look so cute. Okay, on over to this side. A little set here they're about in the same spot every year this is where this these were last year but I like it here it just fits really well and looks super cute this little set here they're hauling their Christmas trees here's another little family with their house and the two little kids they're playing out in the yard with their mom and the dad there it's so cute this little home bakery sign, I, that's new this year. And this, um, this gingerbread fella, I painted him last year. He's a fat little fella. He's a little fat little jolly old soul. Here's a more candy cane factory. This family here went and took their kids to tour and visit the candy cane factory with here, the little peppermint bush there. So they had a good time and everybody's waving because they got their peppermints. And up here is a, another happy young couple. They've been out for a stroll, got them some sweets, got them an ice cream. They're just out having a cute little date. Pan down slowly. And my let me just pan around a little bit. That's how everything looks. Okay, here on my table, tablescape, is I have my same round tray and I have this couple here front and center because they're so cute and just a little candle glow and I have this girl for the folks that sit on this side of the table 
with a little sign that says Merry Christmas. Got a little gingerbread, little, little thing sticking up there. I wanted to show you, I left these out. This is some more of the nativity craft that we made this weekend. These go to two friends of mine. And this here, I just did this last night for my friend. Um, she likes gingerbread and she does her kitchen in pink. So she said, mine will need to have a pink dress on. So I did her a cute little pink dress with this little lace trim on it and her a cute little bow, pink bow on top of her head. So cute, so cute. And my mom does pink in her room. And so I made this little sock snowman for her the other night when the teenage or young teen, really young teens, um, girls from um, the church came over and we had a little fun pizza night and we made sock snowmen. And that was the one that I made. And I made this last night for my daughter. It's one of those, just the wood slice, round wood slices, and I just kind of did it like a little snowman face. And this is something that I have seen on Pinterest and I've been wanting to do, and I finally, I bought like six of them and I have spray painted them and then I splattered with the white and the brown paint and um, my, they're all, it's all just sitting together. I haven't got it glued down yet, but this is how it's gonna look. When it's, when it's done, I made one for my daughter and for my cousin, and they just came out so cute. So anyway, over here on this side of the room, my, on my island here, I have my tiered tray and just have this, the cups and a few houses. I'm kind of walking around the island here as I go around here. This cup is new. Um, I've seen a lot of people that have ha have the, the stacked set of four cups that we bought at Walmart. Well, I bought them, the, the set of four, and I've given, I give each one of them away as a gift, except for I kept one for myself. So that was a cute little idea. And over here on my coffee slash hot chocolate little bar area, I like the Walmart or the Food Lion brand of, of the K-Cups and um, the coconut coffee. And then I add in a couple spoonfuls of like the hot chocolate mix and I use the Cold Stone Creamer, um, just the Creamy Creamer or whatever it's called. And oh my goodness, that is like a dessert coffee. It's so good. <clears throat> anyway, I like this sign i ordered a few things it came from timu and i ordered a few things and i quickly quickly deleted the app i've heard some bad things but the things some of the things that i've gotten from them are kind of or, you know are kind of cute this little hot cocoa served here ginger man he came from hobby lobby this year he's new this cup here is new um where did i, I can't remember where i got that it might have been hobby lobby Anyway, and the Coco, Coco Cafe is what this says. That came from Target Dollar Spot as, as well. And these little houses on my window. And my cute little gingerbread tree. So it's just a little two foot, little alpine tree. I, I put the stand in this box and just decorated up all, just kind of cute. And um, this little gingerbread pick with all the gingerbread fellas, that was from Walmart this year. So I added that and that just, I think that just looks so super cute there. And in this corner, I put some of that snow in there and set one of the houses in there and just put some fairy lights in it. In this corner, it's another one of the signs from Timu. And this here is another new one that we made this year. The official cookie tester. He's so stinking cute. And I made his cookies from um, clay. And I make 
chocolate chip cookies and I give them away as, you know, like my nephews, they love them. And so I always give them a bag of cookies for their birthday and for Christmas along with cash. But, um, and then my mom always makes those peanut blossoms, you know, the peanut butter ones with the chocolate, uh, uh, Hershey kiss on top. She's famous for those. So those are our, those are representative of our baking <laughs> with those. It's just so cute. But this, that little corner came out pretty cute too. And the rest of the stuff up here is kind of the same, except for a gingerbread print. So cute. And that's how my shelf up there came out. I need to put batteries in my little tree over there. And the, um, this couple right there and there, those are new this year. Those are from Hobby Lobby. And over here in this corner, um, is this little Joy Ginger. He's with his big old cupcake and that came from Michael's this year. And this gingerbread bakery thing that it's sitting on, that was from the Target Dollar Spot as well. And I ended up getting my gingerbread um, Scentsy Pot there off of eBay years ago. And here is my little gingerbread tree over here on this side. All of the ornaments on there are like little cookie cutters. There's a little spoon and then I found these little cute little rolling pin things um, at Walmart and then some little tiny little gingerbread men um, ornaments there. And it's sitting in a cute little bowl red polka dot bowl and the sign I made I don't know a couple years ago I guess and over here is Judy Ginger and her little bakery friends um, I'm gonna get a, a whiteboard and put here set them on so that they show up pretty well but this one here with the star on his head and with the Cupcake right over here on his head. Those two are new this year, and they came from QVC. And you could get them in this traditional colors, or I think you could get them in the pastels as well. And these two up front here came from QVC as well. I think that was like last year. And the, their little tray of cookies that they've made. A subscriber sent me these cupcakes a couple years ago. And I got these at Walmart. Oops, <laughs> so sorry, I dropped my phone. Um, this is on the back of my stove, kind of the same each year. And my Pretty Temptations Christmas bowl from my mother-in-law years ago. And this bowl here is from the Target Dollar Spot this year. And here's another one that's new, this little um, Susie Q Baker here. She's made her a tray of chocolate chip cookies as well. And this little one here is new too this year. She's Hobby Lobby new. And of course these from Walmart with the peppermint spilling out because my sign here says Peppermint Parlor. And I got this jar here of candy canes and peppermints here and the pe peppermint plate and a bowl of those chewy peppermints. And this little fella here, kind of hard to see him, but he's made out of clay. I made him with my leftover Clay, can you see him better in the light? He's cute. Anyway, he sits right here. And he's got a little candy cane in his hand. 
and my corner. Shelf here. I hope this video is clear. I can't tell. That's how this corner section there come out. Hope you can see my shadow there, sorry. And down here on this end of the cabinet, I have a red towel and these baking up memories and all this stuff here on the hooks. That baking up memories came from Hobby Lobby this year. And this cute little girl, she's sitting there just ready to give out her presents next to the little Christmas tree. And on this table here, I have this cookie jar here and this happy couple here to welcome you to their home. The kids are out front. And they got a tree out in the yard, made of cookies. <laughs> the same sign my friend painted years ago. And just some cute little things down here. Okay. And some more gingerbread prints that I got off of Etsy. I love this one with the red gingham around it. And the gingerbread baking company and the candy cane sign. Look really cute on this wall here. I have a give me some sugar towel here on the hanging on the end so we'll kind of do a quick pan and then I will close the video because it is kind of long sorry guys with that looks really cute Tear tray. And I put the twinkly lights in my gingerbread tree too. And the hutch. It's hard to film around this light here in the center. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this year. I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. God bless.